welcome to design fusion my name is Nero Mistri and today we will see an overview of NX animation designer so if we can first start with uh, licensing so NX animation designer license come with the uh, floating add-on license NX30178 if we can discuss about tendency of market in current cutting edge technology company needs a way to reduce a cost for physical prototyping. Designer needs to be able to start simple analyze and with the time evolve, it has to be deeper analysis. The marketing account teams needs to be pro uh, operation for winning businesses. If we can uh, see some customer challenges like uh, most of the people, they build assembly for component positioning, not for motion. Few system can simulate 2D free body diagram to force space 3D dynamics. Design data can be get lost when you move data between a different application. If we can discuss about benefit of NX animation designer. So first benefit is whenever you validate product it will be faster and save up to 80 to 90 percentage of physical prototyping cost. It can also optimize design with uh, discipline specific applications. You can create a business winning proposal with the animation designer. Annex designer is integrated modeling for addressing interfaces. It is easy path to annex motion for analyzing dynamic forces. It will leverage design data and guarantee realistic animation. Also. You can create eye-catching animation with time-based, exploded, faded, and camera position. You can also optimize assembly and disassembling sequences with the color-coded timelines. So now we can discuss about some basic steps before starting uh, animation designer. So there is a four basic steps to create animation designer. First, define. So in here you have to define a body or a geometry for the animation the second step is the relation so in here it's basically assign a relation to the defined body the third step is motion in here you can apply di different types of motion to your existing related or relation to your bodies not last but the least the fourth basic step is animate that means in here you can have options to play stop pause your animation you can also explore the movies and also capture an image here you can also generate a report out of animation like monitoring distance changing angle changing and other other parameter you can also export a graph out of uh, reports you can also check interface so we can see uh, practically uh, these four steps one by one so here I have open one assembly that is for air motor assembly and I want to do uh, animation for this assembly so first I have to start animation designer application to do that I have to go in application looking for toolbox in design group and checkbox the animation designer by clicking on animation designer it will add a tab for animation designer so it basically give you all the option you can use for animation designer on a left hand side on a resource bar it will add a tab for animation navigator so first step in animation designer is assigning a rigid body by clicking on rigid group in a defined defined group it will open a window for rigid group you can assign a single body as your rigid group or you can combine a different body in a single group so i want to add this four fixture to this assembly as a one digit group I will assign this cylinder as another rigid group 
I want to assign this flywheel, this flywheel and this shaft to be in a single group. I want to assign this flat head screw in a single group, link in a single group and so I have assigned some rigid group and I forget like which one I already assigned or which one I have to assign. So don't worry, NX designer give you option to differentiate visually visually in a visualize you have option for rigid group color by clicking on that it will show you a color coded rigid group so whatever product you select in a rigid group you will see with the different colors so i have already selected five rigid body or rigid group and i have a different color coding and I can see here this one is not in a rigid group and you can also not see a color coding in that rigid group tree so you can go again in a rigid group and assign these two body in a single rigid group and click OK by clicking here you can see here a different color code you if you want to change color you can also change color by double clicking here and if you don't like you can click it here and you can choose different different color basically it will automatically assign the colors for you so the second step to assign a relation between rigid body so we have a different kind of option to assign a rigid body but we can see first a joint relation so joint relation we have a different option so first i want to fix this body as a fix fixed rigid group so i will assign a fixed joint and select ok and apply so it will apply as a fixed joint and you can also see on a animation navigator bar and they have option for joints and I also want to assign this cylinder as a fixed rigid group and I want to assign a revolute joint because this will be revolved, this will be revolved, this will also revolve at this, this pivot point and this cylinder, this piston will be sliding under the cylinder. So first I will start with the revolute joint so we want to move this flywheel with respect to this fixture and assigning a axis for movement so i will assign a x a y axis and you have to specify a point so i will specify point somewhere here on the soft center point so this will be our pivot point so based on this point it will roll clockwise or anti-clockwise based on the direction and click apply we also want to revolve this uh, screw with respect to so i will click uh, flywheel rigid body and second will be our flat screw assigning uh, axis and select a point for revolving so i assign two joints and I want to assign a revolt joint between this link and this screw and assign a axis and assign a pivot point click apply so we have a three revolt joint two fixed joint and I'm not sure which one I want to apply but I want to see what what are the joints i already apply so to do that you can also see a visualize by right click on joint group and select show joint in a 3d so you can basically uh, see different different joint you already assigned so i want to assign one revolute joint between this piston and link and also because it's it's moving so piston will be moving under a cylinder so it will be sliding 
so i will i have to assign one revolute joint and one sliding joint so again i have to go in joint select revolute and connect revolute relation between piston and link and assign y axis and point will be at the center of this circle and apply so you can see here they have a revolute joint here and i want to the piston will be sliding in a cylinder so i will assign a slider joint between piston and cylinder and in uh, this direction that is y axis and click ok so i basically assign uh, all the joints and if i want before assigning a uh, motion if i want to check how it's move with the rigid body so you can click on move rigid body group and select object and you can manually move and you can see a motion for your assigning relations if you are satisfied click ok and go to your fourth third step that is assigning a motion so i will assign a speed motor to my wheel so it will rotate based on your applied speed so i will select this joint and apply a speed 100 and click ok so we have now completed our third step that is motion so fourth step is animate in here you can play pause stop or analyze a uh, step by step rotation by options here you can also capture an image for your assembly you can also capture a video or export a video from your animation so we can click here for playing and we can see here the piston and the flywheel is moving if i like uh, the motion and i want to capture a video then i have to again click on stop click on export movies and select the location and select the different uh, resolution as you require i click ok click ok and it's automatically start recording the video if you are okay with that you can click on stop then it will stop recording video and click ok so it's basically save at your saved location you can use as a your exported video also you can see here a uh, report tab so you can visually also monitor different parameters like distance angle motor parameter so if i select distance i will select from this point to this cylinder and i want to see uh, what are the changes in a distance when it's move with the different location click play it will, you can able to see uh, distance moving and if distance changing based on your piston movement you can again see uh, some graph by clicking on graph report so based on your position of piston and movement it will also plot a graph for you so this is how you can use an x animation designer thank you for watching this video for more video please subscribe our youtube channel or visit our website www.designfusion.com thank you